Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'd like to take a bit of time and talk about dynamic provider credentials in Terraform Cloud and how uh, it helps you improve your security. So uh, I brought some diagrams to show you on uh, how it, this works on a high level uh, and then we are also going to configure this in our uh, cloud provider uh, and let's see how it works. Uh, okay. So historically, uh, the way that you would configure your, um, your workspaces in Terraform Cloud uh, was basically creating, uh, yeah, access key and access key secrets uh, in your cloud provider, um, and then basically um, provision these secrets into your workspace, and then your workspace would of course use these uh, secrets to make uh, API calls and provision resources in your uh, in the cloud of your choice. Now, the issue with this approach is that these credentials are static. Uh, and of course, there are some, uh, there's going to be some challenges when you want to rotate this. Um, and also, of course, it's also not the best, uh, the most scalable solution, I would say. Uh, now, the way that we can uh, overcome this challenge is using the dynamic provider credentials. And the way that it works is that firstly, uh, you configure a trust relationship between your cloud provider and uh, Terraform Cloud. So in my case, I'm using AWS Cloud. And after establishing this trust policy, you also configure Terraform Cloud to use this trust policy. And then for every run, uh, for every Terraform run uh, that you do in your Terraform Cloud, there are going to be your Terraform Cloud is going to be retrieve, retrieving unique credentials for that specific run and then provision resources. So as you can imagine, this uh, having unique unique set of credentials for every run is going to be giving you a lot of um, flexibility when it comes to your security posture and it's going to be really enhancing your security. So every, if someone gets access to these secrets, they cannot do, do a lot with it because probably they would be expired uh, by the time that they have access to it because they are short-lived. All right, now I'm going to be going to my uh, AWS console. I'm going to be just, uh, yeah, configuring some things in AWS console and then also configure some things in Terraform Cloud to make this work. But if you want to do this, the infrastructure as code way with Terraform, please check out the description. We have a really guide, great guide for this uh, that uh, is going to be uh, help you in helping you implement this in a really scalable sort of manner. So firstly, let me come to my uh, AWS home. Uh, I go to my IAM console. Then I'm going to need to add an identity, uh, an OIDC identity provider. So and the, uh, so connecting basically AWS and my Terraform Cloud. So the first thing is that I uh, click on the add provider and add open ID connect. Then we are going to basically paste in our Terraform Cloud URL as well as the audience, of course. The audience should be also this value. So again, all of these values, you will find them in the description. Then I'm gonna click on the, ah, I forgot to click on the thumbprint, uh, but yeah, again, all of these values, uh, all of these values are in the description. Please check out the descriptions if you want to deploy this. So after adding the identity provider, now I'm going to need to create a role and a trust relationship, and also have, of course, adding the policy permission set. Now I'm going to need to move away my image. So sorry for the. For that, so now I created a uh, create role, and what we need is a web identity. And here, from here, I get I choose the identity provider that I just created, as well as the audience. Click next. Now I need to give the tell uh, AWS what permissions should this um, should my Terraform Cloud have. So basically, all the permissions that your Terraform Cloud, all the resources that it needs to access in order to provision something you need to uh, uh, set these policies accordingly. So yeah, EC2 policies, then I'm gonna click next. So this is the basic policy that I just created in order to just provision EC2 instances. So now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make some small change here, but I will do that in the next step. Uh, I'm gonna call this CFC role. All right, create role. And then I'm going to go to the role that I just created and just 
make a slight adjustment in the trust relationship. I'm going to click the trust relationship. And then here, I'm going to add something. I want to make this a bit more restrictive. So what I'm adding here, what I'm adding is there are, these are some of the uh, values that I'm getting from my Torfum Cloud. So firstly, I'm going to give the organization name as well as the project name and my workspace name. So I created this workspace spe specifically for this, uh, for this demonstration. Um, yeah, but one important thing here is that this run phase. So you can you have three choices. You can say that I want this trust uh, relationship only for the plan phase or only for the apply phase. And also in case in my case, I'm choose using the wildcard character to uh, use this for both phases. So this is something that you can uh, decide depending on your use case. I'm gonna click uh, uh, update policy. Now what I need is this exactly this. Um, All right, so let me jump to, into my Terraform Cloud. Um, and now, as you can see here, I don't have any variables as well as any variable sets. Now, what I would be doing is adding two variables. First, to make sure to uh, let Terraform know that it should be using this feature, the dynamic provider credentials feature, I mean. So let's paste this in. That This would be basically the flag for that, as well as the role ARN. So this is basically just a role that we just created. So I'm gonna add this. All right, now everything should be set for this workspace. Now let me just jump into my Terraform code. So this is the Terraform code that I just uh, wrote, that I've written for this, just testing out this feature. So as you can see here, this is the workspace that we just saw. And let me just go ahead and do a Terraform apply. And let's see how it works. So basically, if we, at this point, if we, if we can provision any resources in, uh, in AWS, um, this should be, sorry. So if I am provisioning resources in AWS, then this is pretty much working. So let me also jump here to the EC2 console. All right. So perfect. So uh, now, as you can see here, the Terraform plan is uh, has done its part. So it means that Terraform was able to establish a connection to our cloud provider. And as you saw, we only have these two variables. We don't have any additional variables. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna also apply, I'm gonna to click on confirm and apply to just basically apply this to see if our uh, EC2 instance gets finally up and running. Yeah, but this probably is not the way that you would want to do this in your production. Probably you want to also do this the FSRS code way. And as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to post some resources for you just to do that um, using Terraform code, basically. All right. Now, let me go to my EC2 instances. It's going to be taking a couple of seconds until it's up and running. Okay. All right, perfect. Now, as you can see, the resources are provisioned and also in my AWS console. Yeah, as you can see, the resources are provisioned. Um, yeah, just one quick side note, if you want to use whatever we talked about today um, in, an, in a scalable way and using the infrastructure as code method that we, uh, that you can use with Terraform, um, you can head, uh, head to, the, uh, to the, this repository that I'm going to be linking in the description. Uh, so if you go, for example, in case of AWS, if you go to AWS folder and in the trust folder, you see all of these res Terraform resources um, and you can see here, this is pretty much what we uh, configured in the uh, in the UI in the AWS console. Um, so here you can, um, yeah, you can basically use this to use dynamic provider credentials in a scalable way. All right, um, so that would be it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And yeah, thank you.